Williams. Now the old favourite Sweet Caroline comes to the boxing out there in the town And it keeps the crowd going, which is great to see. And uh, everyone enjoying themselves there at Toaster, which is so important. Uh, even Dave Clark is on the scene as well. I do believe Romeo Magico, if he did lead off the second bend, he would put the race to bed down the far side. But that's a big if. Uh, I have to say that they are going into the traps at home as the parade is underway. You can see the boat there, Kildare, just going through shot. At 9 to 4, here is Hello Hammond, one of two runners for Paul Hennessy. Don't forget, Paul's got this uh, chance of winning a derby at three different venues, never done before. Uh, with uh, wins at Wimbledon, Nottingham, and now perhaps here at Toaster. There goes Trap 4, Romeo, Magico, British Bread, David Furmager, Graham Holland combined. Graham Holland and Peter Cronin have uh, come over on many occasions here for the derby. They've had finalists left, right, and centre. They're aiming to win the big one. Mickey's Barrett, the story of the competition, just going through a shot there. And here is Trap 6. Priceless jet pack three to one. It's it's so fast, so you can do that. Like right? yeah, yeah. other tracks, you sort of milled, milled together. But look, look at the look at the gaps between yeah. all six finalists. They're all sort of going from you know four deep in. The, the longer the, the clock's ticking down, the overcoats have got to come off. They're put into the boxes again. Look, like. Sports are back in an edge. I'd want to dilly dally behind them. I'd want to be last in the boxes personally. They always to load for 2022 Star Sports and TRC English Greyhound Derby. On the line, Clarkie waves the flag of the hair in motion for the Star Sports and TRC English Derby. The Derby roar goes up. The hair up behind boxes. And a racing good start by Kildare on the inside. Five Mickey's Barrett, but it's Kildare going to leave it to the men from five Mickey's Barrett and four Romeo Magico. Kildare leaves the inside free, and Romeo Magico is there. He takes it up on the inside. It's Romeo Magico from Kildare. Mickey's Barrett and Price's Jet, but on the third bend, and Romeo Magico leads by a length and a half to Kildare with five Mickey's Barrett, Price's Jet. Second was two Kildare and Mickey's Barrett ran his heart out back in third. But it's a first derby success for Graham Holland. He's been yeah, good start from Kildare. The traps went to go and then they've opened um, a bit of movement once again. But Mickey's Barrett trapped well. Yeah, he's trapped well, but Kildare's shown that good early. But one thing that Kildare does, he he takes that, he leaves the rails and Mo Romeo Magico. I mean, he's every sinew of his body is leaned to get up the inside of Kildare, and this is where the second, the third pace error kicks in. He's got the inside line. The draw come out, Kildare at the inside, but what a racing manoeuvre from Romeo Magico. Reverse the draw down that far side. Brilliant run. And what's it going to mean to uh, Graham Holland, of course? So at last, to the Englishman who settled over in Ireland to go and win the English derby at last after many journeys across beating trap two in second place killed death. I've gone for another lap which leaves me here with Rachel Holland and Romeo Magico who has just won this year's derby and you did actually say to me you'd only do an interview if you won the derby. Congratulations how does this feel? Thank you thanks Dan. Uh, I got a blast for Rosie I'm such a um yes be delightful. What a big one I think it was Mickey's power that popped out and then two took the lead. You'd fancy two when he's in front, but my gosh, he got inside him. What a race. He got up the inside on the back, and you know he's strong, we were just hoping he got there. <laughs> and uh, by third bend, he was in front, so just looking behind his over now with the stairs were behind, behind him. But yeah, you're out of crack, you're racing, Brett. What can we expect on the podium now from your mum, your dad, and Dave, of course? <laughs> and that's an emotion, I think. I think it's going to be chaos, we've had to get over there. Congratulations and well done to Badger. And, uh... More of the family there as well. As you can see, overjoyed, overjoyed with the success at last for David Furniture. Uh, I think we're going to get, are we going to get a word now? We're going to get a word a little bit later, a little bit later. As you... He reversed the draw on Kildare. Kildare gave him that gap and he took it 37 kilos of Romeo Magico. Sensational. Yeah, brilliant. Toto's as well. 
And if you take into account, they've had women's from law, the whole, they're used to success. The English Greyhound Derby winning handlers. Yeah, yeah, you can see uh, everyone's getting interviewed at the moment. Uh, and we... It's been, we said, 35 years in the making. Yeah, 35 years in the making. I, mean, I lost him on the front of the first band. I stand down, stood down over the crowd with the Mickey Bar guys. And I didn't know where... All of a sudden, he just seemed to shot through all the rounds. And oh, he's done a great race. And, and improved. He's just... His form's really improved. Like, you know, the last three races, improving with his time. It's a brilliant dog. It was seventh time of asking he won the ground up. Sixth time of asking won the ground up. And he ran brilliant, didn't he? You know, the tracks open, he gave us a scare again. You were like, oh my God. But no, he ran a lovely first bend. And we were roaring down there. You know, he went to the inside line. We were roaring down the back straight. And um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for us, brilliant for the Birmingham. They put so much into it. And obviously, you know, it's a big family effort. We've got runners in Shelbourne and Cork tonight. So Christmas at home, minding with the lads. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's brilliant. He's ran brilliant. And a cracker. That's a miss in the break, so you know, you got to turn up around the bend and then show his uh, middle pace. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, it is. It's an amazing achievement for us. It's taken a long time. But, uh, you think back all the years that Dave's put in, all the dogs he's bred, all the, all the work, and then here we are. Yes, it's all been worth it. Hello to his dog, yeah, so I'm going to give him a moment just to uh, congratulate the dog, because it is, of course, all about Romeo Magico, and, you know, Grant Holland has taken so many good dogs to Derby finals, but finally, you've got it. Yeah, look, um, we've been coming for a long time, and got beaten quite a few times, so it's just very Fantastic to, to have won the derby and, and the way you won it, and it's fantastic for us as a family. It's all a, it's a team effort. Everybody's involved. My, my son and Christopher, he's gone racing tonight. He's at home holding the fort, and all, 